So guys, welcome to another video here on the channel. Monta Gordon here. Hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. That being said, guys, I want to break down exactly how you should go about taking payments for your social media marketing agency. Again, this is one of those questions I get asked time and time again. How do you take payments? How should I take payments? How do I set up auto billing so that I don't have to charge clients each and every month? So what I'm going to be doing is breaking that down in this video right here. So definitely stay tuned. So guys, when it comes to payments, what I highly recommend you do first and foremost is take the payment on the call. If we're talking about payments, I want to actually start from the very, very beginning. So obviously you're going to reach out to businesses, whether that be on Upwork, email, you know, cold outreach, whatever sort of outreach method you're doing, obviously you're going to then get them on a call. On that call, and a lot of people ask me this, when should you actually take payments and how do you do it? So there's a couple of different methods of doing this, but what I found that works for me best is, so when I'm on a Zoom call with a client and they inevitably ask me at the very end of the call, so Montel, how much is all this going to cost? Here's what I do. I give them first and foremost, what you call a bracket close, a bracket it closes where you state a higher kind of like price range and then you drop the price and say this is the price for today if you sign with me today so the whole premise of this guys is to get them to actually close on the call right there and then because if you don't close them right there and then what's going to happen is they are going to send over emails and your whole you know like after the call you're going to send over them an email or the invoice or anything or something like that and what's going to happen is that's going to significantly decrease your chances of actually getting the close now what i recommend you guys do is 100 get them to close on a call and here's how i basically break that down so when a Client, for example, asks me, so Montel, how much is all this going to cost? I say, well, look, John, typically I charge anywhere from $2,000 to $3,000 for this. However, I feel like that's a little bit steep. So what I'll do is I'll actually drop that to 1.5K if you sign with us today. And then I just continue, I just literally go silent at that particular point. And then what they do is they kind of think about it. You don't want to say anything at this particular point. And then when they say, awesome, let's go, how do we get started? What you're going to do, well, it just kind of depends. If you've got these people on Upwork, I'll break down the Upwork stuff in a second, taking payments on Upwork and off work and i also break down taking payments just for like just any old, old regular call because it's pretty much the same as taking payments off of upwork so if you are you know for example on a call with somebody you've not got from upwork because upwork's slightly different because there's a that they have their own inbuilt payment system but if you're taking clients outside of upwork here's what i recommend you do first before you actually you know start your smma make sure you set up some sort of business bank account now i wish somebody told me this when i was first getting started but what you definitely want to do guys is make sure you have like your for example let's say you're with a bank right now whatever brand ranking franchise you're with right now whether that be Barclays or whatever the ones are over in America I'm not too actually too sure what they're actually called over in America but what you want to do guys is make sure you have two accounts set up basically what you want is a business account so it's like it's almost like an account that you kind of use just for business purposes and that's why I highly recommend so any payments that go into there or any sort of business stuff that you buy comes from this account and then you also have another account which is your own personal expenses so you want to keep them two things separate that's that I guess that's the very very first step of actually setting this stuff up then what you're going to do guys is set up stripe so what you're going to do is set up a stripe account so you're going to go to stripe.com i believe it is and you're just going to set up a stripe account now stripe is way better than paypal you can set up a paypal as well if you're going to set up a paypal make sure it's a business paypal obviously so with stripe do you need to be a registered business in order to register a stripe account the answer is no i did not register my business or anything like that when i first created my stripe so yes you can actually create a stripe account without having an actual business i believe you can just literally put in your sole trader and you can literally set up a stripe account and take payments then now i'm not too sure what the age range is as in like if you're under 18 can you still do this i'm not too sure you're gonna have to google that yourself but definitely if you're over 18 and you don't have a business or anything like that yes you still can get a stripe account now go and set up a stripe account it's completely free it takes you a couple of minutes to set up you want to make sure that you obviously all the details you put in there are legit and stuff like that so that your payments go through and there's no real like security flags or anything like that so set that up so guys what i want you guys to do is make sure you have a stripe account first that's your account that you're going to go through and take payments through 99.9% of the times. That's how you should be taking most of your payments, like literally 99% of your payments, like I said. And then you're gonna have PayPal just for backup, just in case something ever happens to Stripe. Maybe you don't have a, it's never really declined on me or anything like that. Sometimes when a client pays you money, sometimes you have to stay on a call with them to kind of explain that yes, if they have like a security flag from their bank, sometimes the payment doesn't go through. They just have to literally call their bank and just authorize the payment. That's not actually Stripe's fault. That's literally their bank's security's fault. It's not actually a fault it's actually a good thing actually because the bank is actually just making sure that the payment is obviously secure and
and they're not getting scammed. So it's just a security flag. Sometimes it does happen. So here's what I recommend you do. When you're on the call and you drop your price and a person says, yes, let's get started with this. What you're going to do is you're going to go to simpleinvoices.io. You should already have this set up by the way. So this is the video you're going to want to follow. So obviously when you set up your Stripe account and your PayPal account, what you're going to do is you're going to set up a simpleinvoices.io. You want to go to simpleinvoices.io. So simpleinvoices.io, it literally says what it does on the tin. It literally allows you to create very, very simple invoices. It's $10 a month, this particular software, but it's highly, highly, highly worth it. This has paid itself off like tenfold, a hundredfold, probably a thousand fold at this particular point. So what you want to do is definitely get simpleinvoices.io. The reason being you want to do this, guys, is because with simpleinvoices.io, you can easily set up invoices that are reoccurring billing. So when you agree to, you know, $1,500 per month for your services. So what you're going to do, guys, is go to simpleinvoices.io and in the settings section, you want to make sure that obviously your payment preferences are set up. So you want to connect your Stripe account and you want to connect your PayPal account. By the way, those two things are very, very easy to set up because all you have to do is go to simpleinvoices.io, click on the payment processes section. I believe it is in the settings section. It was a long time I did this, so don't quote me on that, but literally you can't miss it. Basically, you want to click on that and it will just automatically connect to your Stripe account and your PayPal account, especially if you are already logged into those because it will open like a dialogue box where it kind of like communicates with each other and just kind of integrate with each other. Very easy, very simple to do. So I also recommend you get Stripe downloaded on your iPhone or your Android phone. That way you can actually see payments coming through and you can get that infamous, you know, screenshot of your notification coming through whenever you get a payment coming through. Definitely want to log into it on your computer as well. And you also want to make sure you set up your two factor authentication just, you know, for added security. So let's actually talk about taking the payment. So when a client actually says how much is going to cost, you then drop your price. What you're going to do is on the call, when you're literally on the call, guys, you are literally going to send them over an invoice. So what you're going to do is on the call, you're going to say, John, so which email address do you want to use for invoicing purposes? Is this the email address that you want to use? You should already have their email by, by this point. Typically, they'll use the same email address that they've booked in the Zoom call with because now you're on a Zoom call at this particular point and he, you know, he's asking you your price. You're then going to send them over the invoice via simple invoices. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on to simple invoices io you're going to go to the subscription section you're going to click on create new subscription you're going to type in the actual like item i believe it's called the the, the item section what basically says what are you selling what's the product name you're going to put in your for example if you're offering paid traffic services you're going to put in your and you know if you've agreed to a 90 day kind of like contract you put in there 90 day paid traffic services and then in brackets you could just put like month free month management services and then you can obviously put your price in there so the next step is to put your price in there so obviously if it's 1500 you would put 1500 make sure you obviously select the currency that you're charging in so if you're in the us you're obviously going to be charging in us dollars so make sure the currency is obviously correct for that particular client and what you've agreed upon then what you're going to do is in the option section it will say like the interval of how many times you're kind of going to want to get paid and it allows you to set like a weekly payment bi-weekly monthly and obviously you want to click on monthly because you want to pay, get paid your 1.5k pounds or dollars whatever it is every single month and then you can actually set what day of the week is actually going to because like a calendar section that you can actually go through and actually click through and that basically sends out your invoice automatically what you also want to do guys when you're taking payments is make sure that you have the auto pay section turned on this is for auto billing it's extremely important for auto billing you can't use paypal i repeat if you're going to use simple invoices to do a reoccurring billing type of ordeal and, and you know get a monthly retainer in which is what the aim of the game is you need to turn off when it says turn on auto payments you need to turn off paypal because that does not allow you to save their card on file so when a client actually pays you their card is saved within simple invoices not like you can actually see their full card details but obviously be responsible with this because you can actually genuinely charge them money out of their account if you're not careful but it's very hard to do and obviously don't go out there just scamming people you have to be responsible you're a real business so make sure you're responsible with your clients card details but you can't really see them anyway it's just like blocked out it just shows you the end like couple of digits but what you want to do guys is make sure you turned off paypal and make sure that stripe payments are turned on for your auto billing that's auto billing and again the reason why you want to do auto billing guys and you want to kind of explain this to your clients is that whenever you don't do auto billing what's going to happen is every recall is a reframe as the famous mr imangaji would say so every recall is a reframe and what that basically means is let me give you a real life example guys let's say you have a gym membership that's costing you 35 dollars per month if you were to manually pay that each month over and over and over again it's going to get tedious and every time you see that invoice coming to you and you have to pay it pull out your card and actually put the details in and then press 
you know submit to actually pay and actually purchase for purchase the membership that's going to make you kind of second guess whether you need this membership whereas gyms these days and all subscription types of businesses know these days it's just easier to keep your card on file and just continuously auto bill you until you literally cancel it because that's going to basically lock you in on more payments and allow you to kind of make more money as well kind of sounds unethical but it's not really unethical because you have to it's very easy to opt out it's just that you're you're so lazy that you won't opt out and i know that some of you guys right now are watching this that have like subscriptions that you have literally been paying for for friggin ages that you've not used for just an eternity so guys with that being said that's how you basically go take payments again the steps are set up a stripe account set up a paypal account for backup then what you want to do is set up a simple invoices.io and simple invoices.io is where you actually create your invoices send over your invoices obviously have a professional logo on your invoices uh, make sure you have your business details on there such as your address you obviously want to take your clients business details as well and put them into the business address section that's what you want to do with your invoices just to make sure that you know for accounting purposes down the line you have all the details you need that are necessary for accounting and stuff like that with that being said guys there shouldn't be too much problems in order to you know set up your payments with that being said i'm not too sure actually though about other countries and what sort of payment processes they use so you're obviously going to have to look into this but i know for a fact that simple invoices is very good when it comes to stripe payments and paypal payments it's just that with paypal you can't do the auto billing and you definitely want to auto bill clients 100 that being said guys i hope that you've enjoyed this i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon if you haven't already make sure you drop a like drop a comment make sure you subscribe and turn that notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video pretty pretty soon peace